coverage you can count on with meteorologist Grace Anello and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Plenty more to talk about tonight and what we can expect in our forecast because I'm tracking some changes from today's weather. We'll be chilly overnight tonight, but sunshine does return tomorrow. However, I am tracking several days of storms that are on their way to the valley and they'll be with us for, well, a good bit of the work week to say the least. Take a look at the Way 31 Sky Camera Network powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. Looking beautiful tonight. Temperatures sitting in the mid 50s and upper 50s and only getting colder as we get later and later into the night. 11 p.m. even in the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network is completely dry. Now we'll remain dry from rain all through tonight and into tomorrow, but then shortly thereafter that's when we'll start to see some rain and storms back in the forecast. Now overnight tonight our temperatures will get quite low, a little bit chillier than where we've been the last few days. Let's go ahead and get a check of those overnight low temperatures. 39 in Stevenson, 38 in Mentone, 41 in New Hope for your overnight low tonight. 40 degrees in Huntsville, 42 in Falkville and Decatur alike, 42 in Florence and Town Creek, and 43 degrees in Red Bay for your overnight low temperature tonight. So go ahead and throw one or two blankets back on the bed. It's going to be a little bit chillier than what we've seen the last several days. The good news is, though, even though we'll be chilly, very first thing on Sunday morning when you head out the door, we'll have plenty of unobstructed sunshine by 10 a.m. We're talking about mid 50s and then by the time we head later into the afternoon, it's the low 70s and an absolutely beautiful day on tap. We'll have a little bit of a breeze. Conditions will be sunny and bright. Temperatures mild and comfortable. It should be a wonderful Sunday. And my advice, take advantage while you can because as we head later through the work week, we're going to keep consistent rain and storm chances in the mix throughout the work week and even into the beginning of next weekend. It all starts overnight tomorrow night. 2 a.m. on Monday. We'll start to see rain move into the shoals and that will continue to push east. By about 6.30, our main line, the strongest line of storms, that's pushed east into Chattanooga and Rome, Georgia. But there is backfill of scattered showers, very heavy at times at 6.30 when you first wake up. 10.30, we're continuing to see some rain, mostly in our southern counties and eastern counties. And it's not as strong of storms, but the rain is still there. By the time we head later through the afternoon, that rain is gone and we're left with just cloud cover until about 7 o'clock on Tuesday morning. Now this is mostly just sprinkles and they'll sort of be with us on and off throughout the morning on Tuesday, but that's by far the lesser rain and the smaller wind. Now nothing is looking severe at the moment, but we'll keep you updated and I'll be back here right here tomorrow to get you a new forecast update and new timing as well for when you can expect that rain should anything change. So it's plenty of sunshine tomorrow. Take advantage while you can. We'll keep rain and storm chances through the next several days warm on Tuesday and Wednesday sitting in the low 80s and at 80 degrees and then a cold front moves through Wednesday night into Thursday dropping our high temperature there from 80 to 64 in just under 24 hours. We'll keep rain with us for much of the rest of the seven-day forecast so yeah like we talked about really soak up tomorrow's sun.